Okay, uh, so uh, two weeks ago or so, um, I became the leader of the UI team. Uh, so uh, this morning I got round to asking Eric Steele what the UI team's directives were, so I thought it would be a really good idea to share with all of you guys. Uh, so UI team uh, is here to serve the community. It's not about coming up with a UI, it's about uh, doing things for the developers and helping out uh, in several different ways. So we're here to evaluate um, PLIPS uh, and have a look and work with the framework team, for instance, so that uh, if a PLIP comes in and there's a UI involved, then they want a second opinion and say, well, we're, we're the framework team, we want to know how this actually uh, will work in terms of um, being evaluated with real testers and things like that. That's something that we can do as a team. A part of the team will have uh, people who are experts on usability. Um, they'll be able to evaluate it from their uh, professional perspective. Uh, so that's the testing part of it. And advising. Um, and also, uh, there's several different, um, oh, if you want to join the team, uh, if you, you know, we, we're interested in anyone who's passionate about UI, who's passionate about Plone and wants to improve the UI uh, and has got an opinion about it. Um, if you want advice on the UI, you can uh, email me directly if you don't want to join the list and I'll take it to the list. Um, there's a few different projects that uh, come under the, the heading of the UI team at the moment that have been worked on. Um, so the toolbar widgets we've heard about a lot. Uh, the other part that hasn't been talked about a lot is uh, the new theme that's going to be delivered with Plone 5. So the idea is to have uh, a very, very basic um, uh, underlying HTML, but the rest will be a DIZO theme uh, that will be an example theme more than anything. The idea is that Plone will be uh, one of the most expressive, changeable, themable systems out there, and the theme that comes with Plone is something that you can use in an example, but you're going to change it. It's, it's not likely to be uh, the theme. It'll be nice, uh, but it's not likely to be the theme that you're going to end up with. Uh, and uh, we, we're looking for volunteers to work on this. Um, a lot of work has been done already, um, but uh, we're looking for the next person to sort of take it over. So if you're a front-end developer and you're really interested in, in making an impact on a, on a major, I mean, we're talking about having uh, your name next to uh, a theme that's going to be installed on an awful lot of uh, people's PCs. So, Plone's new look could be you. Uh, the other thing we've developed is this thing uh, we call the, the user experience hit list. Uh, the idea with the user experience hit list is to look and try and uh, vote on and evaluate where the pain points are. Uh, so how many people here you, have used Trello? Quite a few. Uh, everyone else, go and uh, play with it today. It's a fantastic tool. Uh, it's changed our business a lot. Um, Unfortunately, it's gone a little bit wacky. Okay, so Trello is, uh, for, for those who don't know, it's, it's imagine it like a wiki with a little more organization. You've got lists, you've got cards, and the cards, you can do things like discussions. And the idea is that we have uh, three lists here. Oh, that's why it's gone into responsive mode. So we've got three lists here. So one is a little bit of a documentation uh, about it. Uh, and you can actually submit an issue to this Trello card. So we had three different kinds of uh, emphases uh, in, the, in the problems with the UI. So one is for editor issues, and this is sorted by the number of votes. Anyone can go there and vote, um, but we kind of want you to vote in a certain way, which means that if you're in, uh, someone who uses Plone to edit stuff, or you're someone who trains people, uh, in editing and uh, can see the issues that people are having, then submit an issue or vote on the top five issues and only use five votes in a list. So we can see that um, one of the things that seems to be affecting a lot of people at the moment, or at least uh, more than anything else, is this idea that between uh, the, when, 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 uh, the default um, view of a folder versus a page. Then we have a lot of other issues. Site administration, things to do with sharing and workflow uh, are, are things that come up a bit. Um, we're going to have a sprint on this tomorrow. So 
what I encourage you to do is have a look through this list. Uh, if you've got ideas that sort of cover any of these things, and you say, look, I think that if we did X, you know, it would solve this problem and this problem and this problem, and those problems are voted up, then, you know, you would be doing, uh, plowing a huge service by attacking those kind of problems. Um, so don't know what to do in Plone. Put your, put your, you know, thinking cap on and uh, try and solve some of these problems. Thank you. Thank you.